attention persona 3 fans exciting news awaits as persona 3 reload gears up for its highly anticipated launch get ready to dive into brand new combat updates and discover the thrilling features that this remake has in store with less than two months to go we'll unveil the latest ratings and give you an exclusive look at the revamped battle components stay tuned for all the big news surrounding persona 3 reload welcome to rpg realm let's dive into persona 3 reload features i'm gonna summarize what's on the screen feel free to pause it and read it word for word from the esrb rating it's clear that this rpg adventure evolved high school mysteries battles against shadowy enemies and unique persona summoning with impactful attack there's a potential change hinted for the social link system allowing for platonic relationships adding intriguing new dynamic so what it's saying is it has adult themes excessive gore will be in this game depicted from blood guns and extreme violence and there will be sexual stuff in the game female demons with partially exposed breasts and buttocks and a creature with a phallic shaped head and torso a creature with a phallic shaped head and torso so mara's confirmed 100 percent in the original persona 3 the inability to maintain a purely platonic relationship with female characters caused controversy persona 3 reload seems to introduce an option where players can develop platonic relationships with these characters while still fully enhancing their social links building strong bonds between the male protagonist and specific female characters might lead to optional depictations of characters hugging kissing or implied intimacy the key word here is optional suggesting players can choose a more platonic path a fresh concept for persona 3. no longer will you have to go on a huge cheating spree purely for the gameplay i swear <laughs> this opens the door for players to foster friendships rather than romantic relationships with every female character akin to the choices in persona 4 and persona 5. what are your thoughts on the potential inclusion of platonic max out social link relationships in persona 3 reload share your opinions in the comments we got a better look at the third G attacks and more importantly, the criteria to fill up the third G bar. To pull off these devastating moves, starting off with the hero, with him wielding the wild card ability, he is able to perform a variety of third G attacks dependent on the personas he is currently wielding. Using a persona skill will increase the gauge, so using personas with the main character is a good ideal in order to top off your gauge. Next is Yukari. With her Thurgy attack being Cyclone Arrow, this attack does severe wind damage to one enemy, ignoring that enemy's resistances. For the Thurgy gauge, she will charge it by using healing items. Junpei's Thurgy attack is called Hacking's Blast and deals severe slash damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. June's hack and blast attack deals five weak hits with high damage variants followed by a stronger six hit before landing with the strongest seventh hit. Players can boost Junpei's gauge by landing crits. Mitsuru's third attack, Blizzard's Edge, deals severe ice damage to one enemy, ignoring resistances, and can also afflict freeze, but players can boost her gauge by debuffing or afflicting statuses on enemies. Next up, we have Akihiko with his lightning spike third attack, dealing heavy electric damage to all foes, ignoring resistances. This attack can also afflict shock. Players can charge Akihiko's gauge by using support skills on himself and on himself only buffing other party members has akihiko will not boost this gauge fuka is the support member and has her oracle skill here and is able to conjure up random positive effects on all allies such as a party-wide heat riser for example this thurgy can also restore hp and sp and unlike the original persona 3 release her oracle powers can no longer reduce your party's hp and sp values next 
next one in reload is Igus has her Uragai mode third G attack which deals heavy pierce damage to all enemies ignoring resistances but at the detriment of ignoring orders from the players for a few turns charging her gauge requires the player to use her strength based skills Koromaru's third G attack deals severe dark damage to one enemy ignoring resistances I'm not sure what the name of this attack is nor do I know how to increase his gauge in battle currently. Ken's Therogy attack, Divine Retribution, deals severe light damage to one enemy, ignoring resistances. Players can charge Ken's gauge when his SP is less than half of its max value. And finally, we have the best character, Shinjiro, whose Therogy attack deals severe strike damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. No word on the attack's name or how we charge it yet, but there you have it for the attacks. It's fantastic to witness how these unique attacks showcase the individual strengths of the characters. The criteria to charge the Therogy gauge aligns perfectly with their core abilities. Share your thoughts about these attacks and how they're integrated into Persona 3 Reload in the comments below. These powerful moves offer valuable tools for tackling challenging foes during the dark hour and beyond curious about persona 3 reloads engaging mechanics and character abilities join our realm and discuss in the comments don't miss out on future gaming content hit that subscribe button escape explore and belong in our realm thank you for joining our adventure today embrace the power of storytelling in gaming with rpg realm escape to new worlds within